Welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your host Nadine and before we start the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload. The question that still goes unanswered is, are aliens real? They could be, and many want to believe that they are. So here are some reasons why it's possible that we haven't found aliens just yet. 26. Spaced Out One of the main reasons it's difficult to say for sure that there are no aliens is that space is such a vast expanse of, well, space. And we only have scratched the surface of what is out there. People are still finding new discoveries in our jungles and oceans, let alone deep, dark space. If you think that life can exist in the most unlikely places on Earth, there's a good chance that another life force does exist in space. We just can't reach it yet. 25. Oceans Deep Some theorists suggest that the reason we haven't contacted aliens is that we are looking in the wrong places. They believe that alien life forces may be trapped in secret oceans that are frozen on planets. They theorize that there are oceans of liquid lying beneath multiple moons in our solar system. A team member of NASA suggests that these bodies of water are the perfect place for life to evolve. Alan Stern from NASA commented on the situation, adding that anything happening above the surface wouldn't be able to affect what's happening below it, making it a good place for life to begin. Good news for aliens, bad news for humans trying to detect these alien life forces with telescopes. 24. Lightning Strikes We all make mistakes, and because we would love to be able to say, hey, we saw an alien, we sometimes mistake natural, albeit unusual, occurrences for aliens. Lightning sprites have often been mistaken for UFOs, but they're only electrical discharges that take place above thunderstorm clouds. Sometimes they're preceded by a sprite halo which is shaped like a pancake, aka resembles a UFO, and that's where the confusion comes in. 23. The search continues. More than half of Americans believe that aliens exist, and that already says a great deal. Carl Sagan and Jill Tarter developed SETI, or SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence to explore, understand, and explain the origin and nature of life in the universe and the evolution of intelligence. The two astronomers believe without a doubt that there are aliens, and the fact that these two highly intelligent individuals would go to all this effort to prove that there are aliens says a lot. 22. Super Earth A super Earth is an extrasolar planet that weighs more than Earth, but not as much as other planets in our galaxy like Uranus and Neptune. Researchers believe that super Earths contain water that could be a good place for aliens to evolve, much like our earlier theory involving water, except that we may be able to prove this theory quite soon. Astronomers recently discovered an exoplanet twice the size of Earth, which they've named GJ357d, and scientists believe that there is water on this surface. It's 31 light years away from Earth, and the team hoped to find some form of life there with the development of future telescopes. 21. Not as we know it. It suggested that the reason why we haven't found any aliens is that they don't look like what we imagine them to look like. Life may exist, but it's possible that it's in the form of minuscule microbes or other quiet creatures that don't have a need to be discovered. 20. In the clouds. Considering so many people do believe in aliens, sometimes we want to prove their existence so badly, we ignore the obvious signs that what we're seeing is not actually an alien. Cloud formations like hole punch clouds are often mistaken for UFOs. Lenticular clouds are also mistaken for flying saucers. 19. You caught my interest. In 2007, the Department of Defense started the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. This was a secret program that was established to study unidentified flying objects. The program came to light in 2017, and $22 million was spent on it over the course of five years. The New York Times reported on this program in May of 2019 and added that unidentified flying objects were spotted by U.S. Navy pilots in 2014 and 2015. 18. Radio Waves the first radio was invented in 1895 and the first computer in 1936. We have grown enormously since then, and now artificial intelligence is here. Futurist Seth Shostak believes we need to relook at how we are searching for aliens. As they are so much more advanced than we are, we need to be looking for machines and not little green men. He believes that a truly advanced alien society will consist of super intelligent robots. So instead of wasting time and looking for habitable planets, we need to look at planets where machines could do well. 17. Self-destruct in 60 seconds There are theories abounding that suggest that intelligent life self-destructs. 
There are various reasons why this could be the case, including planetary pollution, virulent diseases, or just nature taking its course. 16. Is it a bird? Oumuamua is a mouthful, and it's an interstellar object that was detected passing through our solar system. There are two possibilities as to what it could be. An alien craft, or a heap of space debris, or we can combine the two and say it's space debris left behind from an alien structure or an old alien spacecraft. That's the suggestion brought forward by Avi Loeb, a scientist who taught at Harvard and who chaired the university's astronomy department. 15. Been there, done that. Some people believe that we already have found aliens, but we have been too distracted to realize it. Pop culture has made us believe that aliens are these big, creepy-looking men with big, bald heads, but they probably don't look anything like that. An interesting study was done where 137 people were asked to look at images of planets and look out for alien images. Hidden in the pictures was a tiny person in a gorilla suit. Only 30% of the people taking part noticed the man in the gorilla suit. The study proves that our imagination has limited us in possibly detecting alien life forms. 14. Breathing space. Another possible reason why we haven't found the aliens yet is that space is just too big. The Milky Way is 100,000 light years across, and it's possible that any form of communication from aliens just hasn't been reached yet. 13. Weather it out. Weather balloons have often been mistaken for the odd UFO, and depending on what angle you catch them, can be rather deceiving. Keep on reporting them though, because who knows, one day it may just be the UFO we've been waiting for. 12. Watch this space. We mentioned exoplanets earlier, and NASA has confirmed that there may be thousands of exoplanets still waiting to be discovered. More and more will be found as technology improves and we can venture further into deep, dark space in search of aliens. 11. Alien Invasion There's an out-of-the-box theory that we have killed all the aliens, brought forward by theoretical physicist Alexander Berezin. He likened this theory to building a construction site, whereby builders must demolish an area first before they can commence building. By doing this, they destroy a lot of smaller organisms and creatures without even realizing it. With our expansion into other planets, who knows what alien life we are destroying in the process. 10. About Time there's a huge possibility that we haven't given it enough time. The first radio telescope was invented in 1937, which means we've only been getting into the search for aliens for 82 years. 9. Blame it on Venus There have been times when people have reported seeing a UFO, and sadly, it was just Venus or another bright planet. The reason why Venus shoulders most of the responsibility is that it's so bright that it can sometimes be spotted during the day, and people then get confused and believe it was a UFO. 8. An obvious explanation If you're gonna think out of the box, then this theory is just for you. Astrophysicist Adam Frank ran a series of mathematical models to bring forth a theory that suggests that aliens might have triggered climate change, but then died because of it. He demonstrates how alien civilization could have converted its planet's resources into energy, but did so too quickly, and the society crumbled, and the aliens died. There was a model that suggested that should the aliens convert to sustainable energy, they would survive, but it's possible that it hasn't happened yet. He is quoted as saying, Across cosmic space and time, you're gonna have winners, who managed to see what was going on and figure out a path through it, and losers, who just couldn't get their act together and their civilization fell by the wayside, Frank said. The question is, which category do we want to be in? 7. Time to catch up For us to contact aliens, our technology must be cutting edge, and it's possible we're not nearly advanced enough yet. Aliens might be using neutrino signals, and we are still figuring out how to decipher those. 6. Honest Mistake we get excited when we hear that someone has spotted a UFO, but sadly, it's just an illumination flare. This happened in 1997 when thousands of people in Phoenix reported seeing a row of lights hovering in the sky. Turns out, it was slow-falling, long-burning LUU-2B-B illumination flares that were used as part of a training exercise at the Barry Goldwater Range at Luke Air Force Base. Those lights were visible in Phoenix. At least, that's the explanation given, but do we really know if it's the truth? 5. Down to Earth It's a plausible theory that aliens are just not interested in contacting Earth, and they've made contact with far more superior and advanced civilizations. It's also suggested that aliens may be forbidden in contacting certain planets, Earth being one of them. 4. In the Dark 
Another reason why we may not be able to make contact with aliens is that dark energy is standing in the way. The universe is expanding, and the galaxies are slowly moving further and further apart. Dark energy is said to be responsible for also making distant stars appear dimmer to us. It's speculated that within a few trillion years, our universe will be so stretched that we will only be able to view our close cosmic neighbors. This constant stretching of the universe will hold us back from discovering life on other planets. 3. A Simple Question Perhaps not that simple, but the Drake Equation was developed in 1961 by Frank Drake. It's an equation that estimates the odds of finding intelligent life on other planets. There is a lot of debate about this equation, and currently, the odds are low that there is alien life out there. However, as technology advances, the odds could certainly swing. 2. Surrounded by aliens There's a good chance that you are already surrounded by aliens and you just don't know it. Your next door neighbor, the mailman, or the waiter at your favorite restaurant. Why is this? There's an astrobiology theory called Paspermia Hypothesis, which implies that life on Earth started out with meteors carrying bacteria from other worlds and planted it here. Things like tardigrades, octopi, and humans were seeded here from different parts of the galaxy. But there's not enough evidence to back up this theory. Question. What would you do if you made contact with aliens? What would you tell them? Let us know in the comments below. 1. The plot thickens. Of all the theories, this one may just be the strangest, but also the most legit. If the aliens are ignoring us, maybe it's because they've already captured us and we are living inside an alien zoo. A meeting took place in March of 2019 by the nonprofit organization Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence. There, they debated the Great Silence, trying to figure out why aliens were ignoring us. The zoo theory is not new and was first introduced in the 70s. It seems to be gaining traction now, and it's quite possible that we are under daily scrutinization from aliens in outer space. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up by clicking over here and click here to subscribe for more daily videos.